want to talk about being a witness for God. Experiencing God and then sharing that goodness that He has imparted to you. That grace that He has given to us. Freely we receive, freely we ought to give. If we turn to the scripture in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 10, it says, You are my witnesses, says the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that you may know and believe me and understand that I am He. Before me there was no God formed nor there shall be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. I declare and say that I proclaim there is no foreign God among you. Therefore, you are my witnesses. Praise the Lord. In the Gospels, and in, in the Epistles, Paul speaks in Romans chapter 1. He says, do not be ashamed. He said, I am not ashamed of the Gospel, for it is the power of God through salvation. Amen. Praise the Lord. He experienced God's salvation. So he was able to share that. So I ask you today, have you experienced God? In the book of Matthew, he says, If you testify before men on my behalf, I will testify in heaven on your behalf. So you have to ask yourself, are you standing up for Jesus? Are you standing up for God today? Or are you ashamed of the gospel? The gospel is the good news of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. We should be feeling the joy, the love. Our cup is not half full or half empty. Our cup runneth over. I'm overflowing with God's goodness, His grace, His love. So I stand up in the name of Jesus and I share the good news, the gospel of Christ. I encourage you today, if you love somebody, tell them about God. Tell them that Jesus saves. God 